Hello, everybody. My name is Lisa DeNoyers. I'm the program director for the Medical Coding Certificate and the Health Information Management Program. I wanted to tell you a little bit about this certificate and who's good candidates, what they're going to be doing, and what they can accomplish. Now, students who go into the certificate program are going to learn how to do ICD-10 and CPT coding. They'll be working with HIPAA, the law and ethics area, they learn reimbursement, insurance policy and procedure, and the big things that they're gonna be doing works with regulations and policies regarding the medical records. One thing to note is that if they're doing this certificate program, they do have a practicum where they're gonna do 240 hours hands-on. This is virtually done, but it could be with a facility or with the virtual lab. It's important because this gives them their experience for them to be able to get better employment. And during that course, they're also going to be preparing and taking their credentialing exam. In order to be a coder, they have to get a credential and our job is to make sure that that happens. Now, what do coders actually do? Everybody has this question. The big thing to know is they translate the medical record for the insurance companies, and make sure that the physicians or facilities get paid. Coders also, also audit and review their records to make sure that the information is there in order to get the correct treatment. They accept and review any payments for medical treatment. They balance those financial books and work with the facilities in this area. And the last thing is handling that billing and reimbursement for those facilities to work with the patients and their payments. There are prerequisites, and I want you to understand that when it comes to the anatomy and the physiology, the anatomy is only offered twice a year. The physiology is offered once a year. However, we do accept credits from the local community colleges. Those are accepted and transferred in, which means that if they choose to take the certificate in the class that they need, it is not offered yet. They have the option to take that online from the community college and transfer it in to be able to get into the certificate program. The other classes that are required is the medical terminology and the intro concepts for health information, which is an intro course for computers where they learn about Microsoft Office, they learn about internet, and they learn about different technologies. Good candidates for this. Attention to detail is key. The in Enjoyment of sciences, because they're gonna learn a lot about the body and about the systems. This is core. They have to have a capability to work, not only in groups, but alone, because most of their work will actually be done alone. They have to be self-motivated and make sure that they're meeting deadlines because we work with both the government, the insurance companies, and accrediting bodies to make sure that everything meets and exceeds all of the requirements. And the last thing is, of course, working with technology. We work with electronic coding systems. We work with different um, systems for the medical records. And of course, writing reports and, and building presentations are key. So they have a lot of technology that they work with in order to be a coder. Speaking of technology, your computer skills. We are going to actually teach them how to do PowerPoint, Excel, and Word because they're gonna be core to what they learn. They're also gonna be working with the AHIMA Virtual Lab. This is a one-time, once a year membership that they have to do in order to be able to work with a lot of different electronic systems and technology when it comes to the coding systems. They're gonna work with the 3M coding system, which is inside the virtual lab. They're also going to do MindTap and do the EHR Go. This is a lot of technology, but we do you step-by-step step in order for everybody to learn it and be able to work with it. Degrees that go really well with this certificate. 
is the health information management degree, of course, because this certificate is actually the beginning portions of the health information management degree. And if students decide they can do multiple credentials in order to do this, the informatics degree, because this is technology based and we're teaching them a lot of technology. So it hits the ground running if they've already got some technology background. Nursing, radiology, and public health. Having all of those sciences, this certificate goes really well with that because they already have those prerequisites done and they're ready to hit the ground running when it comes to that coding area. Health services, this is a big one. This is a great certificate for health services because it gives them a credential going into their field in order for them to actually be able to work quickly and be able to exceed their management expectations. One thing I want you to know, this certificate is great for students to take early on because they can actually get a position in the healthcare field and get their feet wet while they're finishing up their degree. A lot of our local hospitals and stuff are also great about giving educational benefits. So if they get this coding credential, get the certificate done early, they get into the field, they will actually pay for them to finish up their degree. So less debt is always a good thing. Last thing, job titles after they complete this, they can become a clinical coder, an outpatient coder, an inpatient coder, become a reimbursement specialist, account reconciliation specialist, and if they choose to work with insurance companies, they can do medical preauthorization specializations. The big thing I want you to understand that when it comes to this, it's important to know that these different areas are just stepping stones for what they're looking to do. They will get the option to go into many other areas, but these are the starting bases for a lot of our coding credential students. We also work with Indiana University Hospital and they have a special um, intern program that this will actually help them get to a higher level as a coding specialist. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I would love to help you with any areas that need clarification. Again, my name is Lisa Denoyers. I'm the program director for the medical coding certificate and the health information management program. Thank you for your time.